Okay, so now we've got our device updated. We've got it secure with our user. We now want to add our Google profile onto this. So again, if I click on the options menu down here, and what I'm actually looking for is the Google Play Store. Now there is a little icon up here often with the Play Store icon, so I can click on that and it'll open up the Play Store. I could find the app as well if I wanted. So then I need to sign in. So obviously, again, this is why we need our security in place. And when you're signing in, it's worthwhile doing it at a point when you haven't got a classroom full of kids watching you. Just to say, if you are doing it on the keyboard here, you can click on the little hand icon just to move the keyboard around, just to make it a little easier for you to type. So I've signed in, just accept the agreement. So at the moment with the Play Store, it's not monitored, it's not regulated. So you do have the ability to install whichever apps you want. So obviously you need to take responsibility for this and only install those apps that are approved and that are safe for use in your class. So if I click on the apps option here, so I can begin to add an app if I want to. So imagine I want Google Drive. Search. And then I can install the app here. So now you're signed in on the board, it will stay signed in. But if you want to manage the devices that you're signed into on your Google account, if you click on your little icon in the top right hand corner of the Google page, uh, you get an option to manage your account. And in those settings, you can find which devices you are signed in to and not. So you could actually go in there and sign yourself out of different devices. Because in the end, what you're actually signed into is the board, but it's an Android device that's built into the board, like a little computer. And you can say, sign out on this device. So you can manage it that way, or you can go into the settings and sign out there if you wish. So now I've installed an app, I might want it on my quick selection options here. So if I hold down my finger in the middle, it allows me to then add a bubble. If I click add bubble, I can then find the app. So most of them are under generic app. So I'm going to find my Google Drive, and then it appears there. With this, you can then organize this by moving your apps around, just dragging and dropping them where you might need them to be. Obviously, if you're using Google Drive, you do need to get the Google Slides, the Google Docs, Jamboard, etc., Google Sheets, all those apps installed as well, so you can run the files off your Google Drive, just like you would on your phone or your tablet. So then if I'm in Google Drive, for example, I can click on the plus icon to open up a new document or I could open one of my existing documents. So I'm going to open up a Google Slides. And so then I can present my Google Slides on the board just as I would on my device. And then using the tools, for example, I can take screenshots. I can annotate on the board. So I can annotate over this. That's a temporary one, or I can click on the dots here and this imports it into the whiteboard so that I can annotate and I can save it.